Hey everyone, welcome to the Relacode channel. Today's video will be interesting for those who have already started the process of preparing documents to obtain the Global Talent Visa in the UK and for those who are planning to do so in the near future. We will try to provide insight into the pitfalls that seekers frequently encounter on their journey, which often result in the denial of their visa applications. Also, I'd like to remind you that we have a separate channel solely for visa programs in the UK. You can locate a link to it in the description of this video. There we furnish even more particulars and perspectives on the global talent visa in the United Kingdom. So ensure to subscribe, I anticipate it will be beneficial to you as well. So, your application for this visa should first and foremost demonstrate your anticipated and potential contribution to the development of the technological sector in the United Kingdom. Any specialist, regardless of whether they are technical or business oriented, who is in any way involved in the development of technological innovation, has the eligibility to apply for this visa. The primary objective is to ensure the correct emphasis in the documents and demonstrate precisely how your contribution in a specific field aligns with the broader goals and priorities of the technology industry in Britain. So, one of the guaranteed ways to be rejected is to present incomplete, inaccurate information about your achievements and your contribution to the development of technology in a particular company or country where you work or have worked in the past or are currently employed. For example, it could be a lack of strong recommendation letters, it's important to remember that recommenders are people who themselves can fall for the global talent visa. So this is most likely individuals in executive level positions in digital companies with a robust, strong public profile and a significant presence in the industry. These individuals are active and promote the development of technology in one country or another. In the letters, it should be stated how the information about the recommender proves that his opinion is worth trusting because he's an expert, a recognized expert in technology. Also, detailed information about you and your projects should be provided, specifically what you have done to develop a particular product, how it happened, and what important achievements you have made along the way. Additionally, document formatting, in addition to content, is crucial to strictly adhere to requirements for each document in the case. If it's a recommendation letter, it should be no more than 3A, 4 pages. If it's a personal statement, your official statement, then it's a max of 1,000 words for the entire document. If it is evidence or a resume, it should also be limited to a maximum of 3 pages of A4 paper for each individual document. The second popular mistake when putting together a case is not providing a clear enough confirmation of your individual contribution to a particular project. Certainly producing or constructing any digital product is frequently a collaborative endeavor, but it is crucial to emphasize your personal contribution in this context. If you solely provide screenshots of the interface or screenshots of the general scheme of how a particular product operates, that is not adequate or satisfactory. It's important to highlight your contribution, to show that in this scheme you worked on such and such part, in this interface for example, you did it yourself, you made the specification for it, or you completely composed it depending on your role in the project. But from all the team's activities, it is necessary to highlight your contribution and provide internal materials, working documents, screenshots of your work programs, specifically those parts that you worked on, showing that without this work, the project itself, the entire product, would not have been created and would not have happened. Being publicly recognized for your achievements is also the kind of information that strengthens the case and makes it less likely to be approved by providing strong evidence and credibility. All your activity, especially the creation of the most important technologies you're involved with, should be somehow highlighted not only within the company but also outside of it. News notes, speeches at conferences, where your specific contribution to a particular product is highlighted. In general, 
Your public profile is an important part of your work, both in relation to your projects and as a way to contribute to the development of the technology industry. It's where you share advice based on your own experience that can be applicable to other companies and experts. Global Talent Visa has two tracks, Promise and Talent. Promise is for those with five years of exp and talent is for those with five years of exp. And in this particular case on the track called Promise, a public profile can truly be not quite well developed yet at this moment. I get it, these are people at the beginning of their career path, but he still has to be someone in any case. For a talent track, it is crucial for information about you, your projects and recognition of you as a leader in a specific field to exist in principle. The subsequent common mistake, which is likely to result in failure, is the act of choosing the wrong track option. Like I said, it's promise and talent. And if you really have more than five years of experience and you're applying through the promise track, hoping that getting approved here is a little easier and you're not really hiding the fact that you have more than five years of experience, the committees that review the technical skills will visit your LinkedIn profile. They can find information about you on Facebook, information about your education and so on. And make sure for yourself that you actually have more than five years of experience. And in this case, of course, there will be a refusal. So you don't need to worry about how strong your achievements are or how weak they are when choosing a track. Here, the sole landmark is the total number of years in your professional career. If it's been more than five years, either you need it, if you want, however, to give in to the promise, or you need to make your public profile qualitatively so that it's not visible in reverse, or give in to the talent track. Another cause for alarm indicating a potential rejection of your application is if your activity is directly linked to the areas of outsourcing and consulting solutions, as these factors may negatively impact the evaluation process. And although the technician guideline states that if you are a technical specialist, there are no restrictions from that point of view, restrictions apply to business specialists who must work only in product-led companies that is in companies that create their own internal digital products. They supply them to the market and make most of their revenue specifically from these products. However, refusals are rising. And at times a specialist remarks that a technical specialist should solely work within the company's product for an extended duration. Outsourcing and creating technical solutions that don't stay within the company and are completely handed over to third parties just doesn't cut it. Yes, in this place, you can try working with an appeal or creating a new case. However, if you want to protect yourself and build a strong case immediately, there is no need to showcase the products you have diligently developed through your hard work. In conclusion, I would like to say that having a thorough understanding of all these underwater pitfalls that we have listed is undeniably the key factor to obtaining approval on your application. It's important to show how your experience, achievements and expertise will help in the development of technology in the United Kingdom. If you still have any questions about preparing your case, about how to present yourself better in the documents, please feel free to reach out to us for a free consultation. We'll take a close look at your case and can provide a plan. We can do the work on the case and the document plan, and we can also fully support the preparation of your case. Today, I'm saying goodbye to you. See you again on the Relaco channel.